Welcome into another haul video. I posted a haul video about three or four videos ago, and in that video I mentioned that I was in California for a sick family member, and I was spending a lot of time in the hospital, so I was placing a lot of orders for a lot of makeup. Some of that makeup hadn't come in yet and was slowly like coming in after I arrived home. Some orders are more recently placed and I thought I would do another haul video. I kind of liked doing it last time, like it was fun taking everything out and swatching it because usually I kind of do that like in the video with trying new makeup, but this just seemed like a lot more fun because I usually wait to like swatch the product or take it out until I film that video and so that I'm doing that on camera, but waiting was driving me crazy. So I think if I can just take everything out, swatch everything, do it all on camera, kind of do a haul video with you guys, it would be a little bit more exciting for me. And I kind of like watching haul videos. So I thought that's what we'd do today. Uh, I do have two boxes. It, they came in so many boxes, but I dialed them down. I opened everything, dialed them down to one Sephora box and one ColourPop box. So that is the thumbnail that you see, but they are made up of a ton of different orders. Some are very little, some weren't very expensive. Some of this is like drugstore makeup, but I thought we'll just dive right into it and have a good old time. So I'll try and keep it by brand. Some of these I placed on like the brand website and the stuff that are just singles, you know, we'll throw those in. Okay, so in no particular order, I just pulled out the two products that I placed an order with Melt Cosmetics. So these were two of the new eyeshadows that launched. I purchased the Air and Earth. Some of the color stories on the other ones seemed like ones that I wouldn't grab for very often. So the first one is the Bad Side Zodiac Earth. This one I guess goes over Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. And here is the color story. I, th I think I picked this one up probably because I thought it was a really grungy palette and it would be perfect for fall. And usually like yellows and oranges are, and browns are like a lot of the tones that I go for on a more everyday basis. So that's what attracted me to this palette. So I'm gonna swatch everything on camera. I have never tried Melt Cosmetics shadows, so I don't know what to expect from the formula, but that was the first swatch of the matte shade. So I just do it down my arm and then kind of like hold it like this so we can see everything together, but you'll see live swatches. Hmm. So my first impression of that is that it was pretty pigmented. This is like a very grungy forest green color. And so I could see how it had potential to be patchy, but I thought it was quite nice and it swiped pretty far. And by the way, some of these are like new releases and some of them aren't. I may not have mentioned this, but these Bad Side Zodiac palettes were like new releases. And I guess it's like the, the concept of these is that the only right way is your way we know. And it's like the bad side of the traits, I guess, of the different signs. So this one that I just swatched was Heart of Stone. This one is way harsh. This one is overcritical. Look at that, that's a really good shimmer. This one is know-it-all. I really like the way these shimmers feel. Again, never tried a Milk Cosmetics eyeshadow formula, so wasn't sure what to expect, but the shimmers are impressing me. This is RBF. This is materialistic. Wow, look at these shimmers. They pack a punch. This is type A, and this is stubborn. Oh, that one didn't swatch great. Now oh, that one took a little finessing. So here's the color story on this. Like I said, very grungy, very nice color story for fall. So that's kind of why I picked this up and I like playing with oranges and yellows. Um, I think that the mattes were not my absolute favorite formula. They're definitely like harder pressed in the pan. They're not as buttery as I guess I was kind of anticipating and there's definitely like quite a bit of fallout that I noticed like even in the pan itself I was kind of having to like ooh, blow some of it away so I don't know we'll see how it will perform I mean I noticed this one was a little hard to drag out and maybe a little bit patchy but the other mattes didn't seem patchy so I'm excited to try this formula so I just noticed like a lot of that green shade was kind of falling out all over me out of the pan and onto my legs because I am just sitting here on the floor. All right, so the next one that I got was Air. And there's the outside packaging. This one is supposed to encompass Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Here is the color story. I love this color story. I love like the purples in here, the depth of purples you get, this white. Oh, it's actually not white. It's like a light violet shimmer right here and then this like peachy 
orange row. These are just like two rows that would make really good eye look on their own. So I, I really like this color story. I can see why this is the one of the ones that I picked. Okay, so this like first shimmer was like falling apart. It almost felt like a super shock shadow. All right, so this one is frivolous. Love it, love it. This is indecisive, ghosted, two-faced. I love these shimmers. This is mind games. It's a deep purple. I could see that kind of being patchy. This one is flaky. Beautiful purple, deep purple shimmer. These Mosa, Chismosa, C H I S M O S A. I'm gonna guess Chismosa. I have no idea what that means. And here's that violet shimmer shade, which is reckless. This shade here is so light, I almost feel like it's a topper. But there is the color story there. I just love it. I mean, I kind of had maybe a hard time pulling this one. Man, my finger is purple. Pulling this one up in a swatch but I just think this would make a great eye look. This would make a great eye look. Love this color story. And the shimmers are really, really impressing me. And this one right here was so creamy and buttery when I was swatching it, it was almost like flaking apart in the pan. It really felt like a Super Shock, a ColourPop Super Shock formula. So I don't know if you can see, but it has like a lot of like extra kind of flakiness. It's a pretty chunky shimmer, but it's just beautiful. Like the texture of it was just fantastic and it gives such a good shine against the reflection of the light. So I'm excited to try their formula. Okay, so the next group, and I'll try and group it by brand, is Profusion. So I, I actually placed like a pretty big order with Profusion products and I think I placed it on Walmart's website. And I think a lot of stuff really wasn't like in stock, even though it let me place the order for it because they had some really, really interesting things that I placed the order for and then they'd say, hey, out of stock. So some of the stuff that I ordered came, I think the majority of it probably did. And I think some of these are just so adorable that even though I didn't need them, I was just buying them because they were cute and they weren't that much money. So this is the first one. This is the Profusion Lip Syrup. It looks like a little nail polish and it says cinnamon sparkling lip topper. So glide your way to a delicious pout with this long wearing lip syrup. Start by applying the non-drying formula to the center of the lip for a subtle finish or the entire pout for more luscious effect. Okay, so really cute packaging. I really liked this shade. Let's open her up. So I don't take it back. It definitely looks like a little nail polish. Here is the packaging on that. And it is a doe foot applicator. All right, let's swatch it and see what she looks like. Hey, where'd it go? Oh, there she is. That's pretty. Like it really catches the light nicely. It almost looks like a like glitter shadow, but it's really, really pretty. It's just a light color. I have lip gloss on now, but I think, you know, you're not gonna get the full effect unless I put it on. Oh, that's pretty. I did have like color on the other ones. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they definitely look more juicy. The glitter feels a little chunky on the lips. Like I could definitely feel it, but no like overpowering scent. It's very lightly scented. It feels nice. They say that it's like a long lasting formula. So we'll sh we shall see, but it's definitely cute and makes my look lips look very wet and juicy. Okay, moving on to the next product is also from Profusion. It's the Boba Blush and it is a cream blush. It is in the shade Bestie. Here is the outer packaging. It is a compact and that is what the blush looks like. So we can just like swatch it together. It's not overly emollient. It's a pretty like thick formula as you can see. And here's the swatch. Let's see if I can get more out of it. No. It's not overly pigmented. It's an orange that I've said a thousand times now that I love the color. Um, it I was swatching a lot of blushes in my last haul video and it was like that they just kept swatching. There was a lot of pigmentation on it and I don't think this one has quite as much pigmentation and it's, it's not an overly sticky formula. It's just thicker than like some of the more emollient cream blushes that I have, but I think I will enjoy this. 
I like a lot of quality on the Perfusion products. Okay, next up is Three Piece Water Lip Tint. So this is the Fruit Tea, and I guess these are in the shades Grapefruit, Watermelon, and Hibiscus. Again, this is just something I thought the packaging was really cute. Clearly didn't need this item. So water lip tint. So I imagine these are kind of like lightweight. Here is what they look like in there. They're like little sodas. So the whole top comes off. Oh, doe foot. So this is grapefruit. Yeah, pretty lightweight formula, like I thought it would be. It smells like candy. This is watermelon. Hmm, not as red as I thought it was gonna be, I guess. I don't detect like a different scent in any of these. They all smell the same. And then this is hibiscus. I really, really like this. So there are the three shades, like I said, grapefruit, watermelon, and hibiscus. So I'll be interesting to see how quickly they stain my hand after I wipe this off. Yeah, the scent is all the same on all of these. They don't smell different. And like their little soda bottles are really cutesy. But Perfusion is very, very inexpensive. I bet you this lip tint kit was somewhere around like $8 and no more than that. Okay, so here let's try and wipe this off and see how well it stained. <laughs> I love doing that. Okay, video over. I'm not gonna be able to swatch anything from here on out. So obviously this was pretty light and this is, you know, on the least amount of time and stained it pretty quickly, but I guess you can imagine that with the shades that they were. But I've been trying pr like inexpensive lip tints lately and I feel Actually, I've been trying lip tints in general lately, and I purchased two, like the Fenty one, and then there was one other one that was more high-end brand, and I thought it did okay. I don't think that it was like the most standout lip stain I've ever tried. And then recently I purchased these, and then one from another really inexpensive brand. Why can I not think what it was? I guess it was the Creme Shop, and both of those stained my hand so well that I was like, wow, the more affordable brands are doing a better job at the lip stain products than some of the high-end ones are doing. And I don't think that the ones I'm purchasing are new. I just think that, like new to the market, I just think that the quality was more superior for the more affordable brands, and I thought that was ironic. I am scrubbing hard and it's hurting me and none of them are really coming off. Not completely, not even the orange. So I don't think I'm gonna do much more damage on this. I have to say my least favorite thing about affordable makeup products is all of the tape that they use to keep these products down. Even the ones that have like outer packaging, they still put so much tape on it. It drives me bonkers. All right, so the next one I have is the Ruby Gems. This is also from Profusion from my stack here. Um, this is just a five shade glitter palette. I'm not really sure other than how pretty the palette looked when I was looking up Profusion products was that made me wanna buy it. I'm not really into shimmers all that much, sorry, shimmers, glitters all that much. I do like them. It's just that this was so gorgeous that I couldn't not get it. And I think I have seen this like glitter palette before. So I was like, well, I'm here placing an order. I might as well get it. Sometimes glitters are okay, like are usable or I will use them. It's just not all the time. So this probably won't get that much use. So I just swatched one. They are buttery. They're nice. They feel good. They feel hard pressed. They feel like they have um, ingredients in them that hold the shimmers together so they're not overly flaky. That's what it feels like. So that is the first one. Hmm. Yeah, it was definitely a little chunky at first and then it fizzled out at the end. But look at it reflecting light. Ooh, that's gorgeous. I apologize now that swatch wasn't the greatest, but that's kind of like what these do. They're not gonna like swatch all the way out. But as far as shimmer formulas go, I have to give these a really high rating because they actually do swatch pretty well without there being a whole lot of like real fallout and they're not overly chunky. So, so far I'm really impressed. A red one. See, that did pretty good. Almost like a pink. This kind of like magenta. I don't know, also could be a red, not sure. So that is them there. They're very beautiful. 
I mean, for glitter, they even swatched well. They're not overly chunky. They seem like they would be really easy to work with. Very easy to apply to the eyes. And there's nothing coming off. They're formulated so that they have, like they stick together very well. So I'm really, really excited about this actually. Next Perfusion product. This is the High Voltage Duochrome Eyeshadow, Liquid Eyeshadow. This is the Jurassic Park collaboration with Perfusion. I didn't even know they did one, so I don't know how new or old a release this is, but I've been on a buying liquid eyeshadow kick lately. I haven't actually put any of the ones that I've purchased on yet in my trying new makeup, and I haven't been home because I was away in California for three weeks this last month and I haven't actually got to try them, but I have been on a pretty massive kick lately. They, for whatever reason, just look very appealing to me. So this one was no exception. Super duper cute. This packaging is so adorable. The shade looks like, hmm, like it'd be great for fall, I guess. I don't know. Okay, let's swatch her. Oh, that's very pretty. It has like a yellow to like an orange to like a green shift. I don't know. You tell me what you see. There we go. There's there's more of an or orange to yellow kind of shift. It's very pretty and it's not like overly chunky or anything. We'll see how like long the formula lasts and how well it sticks on the eyes. So that's the only like Jurassic Park collab product that I picked up from Perfusion. Okay, so last Perfusion item. This is super duper cute. This is a highlighter. It's the Whipped Glow Mousse Highlighter. Again, very, very cute packaging. Apparently it's a Walmart exclusive and I have to untie it. All right, here is the packaging. This is in the shade Sweet Whip and it almost looks like a single shadow, but it's a highlighter. So it's very, very pinky. I can feel the mousse formula. Again, it feels like super creamy, but it's really lightweight. Like it almost feels like a super shock, but it's super, super lightweight. So that's the swatch. It, that's gorgeous, very reflective. Let's like, like blend it in a little bit to see how it like might actually look on the cheeks. Whoa, that's very blinding. Holy cow, that just looks wet. So not a whole lot of product in this thing, but probably something that could go pretty far. And it's pretty inexpensive product. I'm actually like pleased to not just be shopping on Sephora and Ulta lately. I've been branching out to kind of see what other products have in their like permanent line or, you know, stuff I can get my hands on because I'm excited to try this. Like I think this will be a lot of fun. I have six things here from Hard Candy. And the reason that I placed this order or I started like looking at what Hard Candy offered is because they, they I don't think this is a necessarily new release, but I believe this one like best primer for drugstore for Allura 2022, I believe it was the Sheer Envy Hydrating Primer. It's a makeup grip, moisturizes and perfects. So I'm, I'm pretty sure it was this one. And because it did, I decided that I would pick it up when it won Allure Best of Beauty. And if it didn't, and I'm just totally wrong, that's that's fine too. Um, and so then I looked at what else they had. They have quite a bit of stuff, very cutesy to like the profusion stuff. All right, let's put this on. I believe if I've like seen it before, ooh, that's not focusing. It's like has the green color and it's very similar to the Milk Makeup like Hydro Grip. I would say this is not quite as sticky initially as the Milk Hydro Grip is. It did feel hydrating. It did, it, did, it felt more hydrating than the Milk Hydro Grip for sure. And it's not as grippy either, but pretty good alternative. I'm excited to try that. I'm actually not a huge fan of the Hydro Grip. Um, I just think that it's like too sticky for me and I prefer something a little bit more moisturizing. So that might actually be a good alternative to making your makeup last, but is sold in a more like hydrating fashion than the um, Milk Makeup product. All right, this next one was weird. Like it had me very confused. It's called the Cheek Tint, the Selfie Cheek Tint Dot On Blend In Bloom Out Universally Flattering Blush. So I believe this is actually clear inside the bottle. Yeah, selfie cheek tint powered by you. I don't think it has like a shade on it because it's just clear, but it turns color when it's on your cheeks. 
So it says, universally flatting, flattering blush that goes on clear and matches your skin's natural pH to instantly give you the perfect shade of natural flush. Infused with liquid skincare, jojoba oil, and vitamin E, nourish and treat skin while vitamin C brightens for youthful vibrancy. Hydrating, brightening, and long wearing. There is the packaging. So this is probably the thing that I'm most excited to try because I've never tried anything like this before. And I just don't know how it would work. Like, I guess it's kind of like one of those pH lip oils, but even those come with a tint generally, and they'll kind of change colors like as they mesh with your pH, but this one is entirely clear. So I just, I don't know what shade I'm gonna get. Like, I imagine it'll just kind of be like a baby pink. But let's swatch it on my hand and see if it, yeah, like a, like a baby pink is kind of what I thought it would be. I guess it's going on clear and it's getting darker and darker as it sits on my hand. I just don't know if I'm gonna like love this consistency, probably. It just feels like this would have a hard time drying down. Oh, it's like almost a stain as I kind of like rub this in because it's very like tacky, very sticky. It's very sticky. So I just don't know how that will dry down like on my cheeks. I don't know. So this was the Instant Summer Bronzer. This is just a powder bronzer. It's mango and cocoa butter infused. It says two times the skin softening butters. It is Instant Summer. Oh, it's in the shade Toasted. Very, very buttery formula, like it says. Let's just swatch it. And it's, I don't think it's too warm. I mean, it definitely has a warmth to it. It's called Toasted, so it's going to. But it felt really good going on. Very buttery, very creamy. I'm excited to try it. I wonder how many times I'm gonna say I'm excited to try it because I'm really just excited to try everything. Okay, the next thing from Hard Candy was their waterproof eye crayon. It's supposed to be a 12 hour eye crayon and this was just like a silver shade and it comes with a large sharpener down here. It says shadow holic on it. So 12 hours, waterproof. So it was a little bit difficult to get, but honestly, this doesn't look silver, like not entirely. Like it looks pretty gray. I, did, I just didn't love how that was applying. I don't know, just interesting product. Thought I would give it a shot. Like I said, it was kind of like in the realm of like the single shadows that I've been looking at and been interested in purchasing lately. So, so the next two are pretty much the same thing. These are like the duo shadows. And I just thought these looked really good. Probably not colors that I'll wear very often. The, this one here is called Rock and Roll, and this is Pickup Line. Kaleidoscope Baked Eyeshadow Duo is what they're called. So here's the one called Rock and Roll. I love that bake feel. That's that. Ooh, that's really pretty. And the deeper purple. Whoa. Those were really, really good swatches. They felt good. They look beautiful. They look soft. They're never like a perfect line, usually with these baked formulas, but it, it's it's just big enough that you could get a brush in there without any issue. Like I had no issue with my finger in swatching and I just think that these look really, really beautiful. They almost look duochrome, but I, I don't know that they are. Yeah, they actually might be. So that one was really, really pretty. The way that they felt was like really, really soft and nice. And here is the one called Pickup Line. I'm just gonna keep going down my arm. That is beautiful. I could actually like see myself wearing this on a pretty everyday basis because it's not, it's not overly pigmented. It doesn't have a, a ton of like color to it. And here is the other blue shade. So beautiful. I like both of these. They're really cool finds. Like, they just feel so buttery. They weren't chunky. This beautiful baked formula, but have a nice shimmer to them. So, excited for both of those. Okay, let's move on to another brand. The next one I have is Clarence. I only picked up two items, but the real reason that I went to their website was to place the order for the Lip Comfort Oil. I guess this is in 08. I'm not really sure if that's like the shade or just the, the lip oil name of it. Um, it says, with sweet briar and rose oil. 
and yeah it's a 08 strawberry is the shade name so this was another item that won the allure best of beauty for 2022 for lip oils and i've never tried anything from clarins so i thought i would place the order for this and i would i saw i looked on their website for what else they had and just one other thing kind of caught my eye so here is what the packaging looks like wouldn't say that it smells exactly like strawberries but it's fruity and um, it's a large doe foot applicator. So let's just put it on. I have stuff on my lips, so, you know, it's like, do I add more or do I take off what I have? I just feel like it's so light. We need to just put it on. Huh. Huh. Yeah, it's very nice. It has a really strong smell though. Really strong scent, fruity scent. I have quite a few lip oils going these days in my collection, so. But it's really, really soft. And the other thing that I picked up was the Everlasting Youth Fluid Illuminating and Firming Foundation. So this was in the shade 103N. Who knows if that's the right shade? I'm terrible these days. I'm matching myself on online purchases, but hopefully. So it says radiant complexion, boosts luminosity, visibly firm skin, lift effect, lets skin breathe. Our foundations care for your skin. Plant enriched skin hydration, anti-pollution complex. So I think this is like skincare based. And I think if I understand Clarence correctly, that maybe a lot of their stuff probably is. So this is the packaging. It is a very, very nice glass bottle. It has a pump on the top. Okay, I just gave it a good shake. So let's, woo, you see that? It was like water. It was like, look at that, bye. All right, let's rub it in. Oh boy, it is very, very liquidy. So it's almost like a skin tint is, is what it feels like to me. It's just a really, really liquidy formula, so. I don't know, again, another one, excited to try. I've been wearing one foundation in all of my travels. I've been wearing the Sephora Best Skin Ever foundation. It's like a tried and true for me at this point. Like nothing makes me feel as confident as when I carry this foundation and how I know that it will perform. And so all my other foundations are just sitting around and I thought, well, should I really get this? But I was like, am I really just gonna place the order for one lip oil? So I did pick this up. Now I feel like I have a better, feeling about like trying it it seemed actually like more up my alley that it was was kind of more a liquidy formula than i thought it was going to be so let's move on into some single products this one is from oma beauty the sharon c so this is the um version that is sold in like walmart and like cvs and she just released, these are new releases, she just released like four new products. Some of them were like sheer lipsticks. She had some, I think regular like lipsticks. She had this bronzer. And then I believe there was one other item or maybe two other items, these are new releases. And I placed the order with Walmart and then everything said it was unavailable except this. And so this did show up today. This is the Flawless IRL Bronzer in the shade Sandy. I believe this was like a cream to powder formula. Here you go, that's what it looks like when I start swatching it. And let's go ahead and put that on. That looks like a pretty light color that would probably work for my skin tone. I do find myself going for like darker colors these days, but I think this will be a good shade. So it looks pretty. It's a cream to powder finish, so it is a cream bronzer. Loving cream products right now. So. Another one excited to try. This is also a new release. This was their um, new palette that Viseart just launched. So I think the day that this became available, I placed the order for this because I'm a sucker for Viseart shadows. There is the outer packaging. Here is the color story. Super, super warm toned palette. Super great for fall. So I will swatch this and I'm just gonna start from left to right and then top to bottom. I love the Viseart shimmer quality. It just feels literally like I'm sticking my finger in a thing of butter. And this one feels like I'm touching cream. Look at that swatch as compared to like the matte shades that came out of the Melt Cosmetics. Same finger. <laughs> Man, the quality is so good and you can really, really tell on a swatch. It's just astonishing that the difference. I mean, these are tiny, tiny little pans, right? 
So it's not as though I wasn't getting enough product in the Melt Cosmetics ones, because those were like big circle, I almost said square, like circle pans, and these are tiny. And so I only get, you know, like my fat little finger swashed in there like one time, and they're just so pigmented, they're just so good. I don't think it's gonna be super pigmented. Yeah, it's definitely a duochrome, but it's actually quite pigmented. So it has like a purple shift to it, but it's more of a brown base. This shimmer, I'm super excited to test because it's like that gold yellow that I just love. So pretty. Purple matte. So good. I actually thought to myself, why did I buy another Viseart palette? Oh, right, because their quality is legit. Legit, too legit to quit, I'm telling you. So good. Their formulation is just delightful. Look at that. Woo! It's very warm toned, very fall. Good time to launch it, but every shade swatched. I'm sorry, I'm trying to get everything in the camera. Every shade swatched super well. And, and one of the things that I love about this is that you have a super dark shimmer and a super light shimmer. I just like when there's depth in the shimmer so you can kind of choose. I don't like it when it's like all dark or all golds or not a deep shimmer or not a light shimmer. You get it. You get my point. Anyway, great variety. Everything swatched well. And I know they just had two new releases for like two smaller palettes. I'm getting those for sure. Like those, both of those color stories look like everyday wearing palettes for me so i am for sure picking those up i just haven't done it yet but that one was a new release like last week i think or like the early part of last week or even last weekend somewhere around there but so glad i got it all right let's move on to another eyeshadow palette this is again a new release and this is from oh my gosh beauty bay and this was the dark fantasy palette um pretty dark I think more than I usually go for it, but again, on a makeup buying kick, what are you to do? It looked delightful, and I guess the theme is that I'm really into trying brands that I haven't tried ever, and I've never tried a Beauty Bay eyeshadow formula before, so that's why this came home with me. So it's a 20 color eyeshadow palette. I do really love this packaging. I think that this is very cute, and here is the color story on this. So definitely more dark, more grungy than I normally would reach for on an everyday basis. A lot of colors in here, stuff that I don't grab for all the time. But I don't know, these shimmers looked really good and I think that I have heard of like Beauty Bay shimmer formulas being pretty good or that it's just overall like good formulation in general. So let's go ahead and swatch this. I'm gonna do my best to keep these very close together so we can get the swatch all on one arm. But right away, this is a extremely buttery, silky, silky matte formula. So I really like the way this is um, starting out. Silk, it's like silk. It's literally like touching silk. And the shimmers, that's uh, already given me. <sighs> yeah, actually that brown one was pretty ashy, but it's already giving me um, good vibes. That was the first shimmer. This is a black shimmer. That's nice. It's burgundy, maroon, wine, one of those. Yeah, the shimmer formula feels wet. Love it. Green. I don't know if I love the way that this color story is like laid out exactly. They kind of have things all over the place. And so aesthetically, I'm kind of looking at it going, I can definitely pair shades together. That green one was not the best swatch, I have to say. I, I can definitely see like I can pair shades together. Like I can create a look that's even neutral, but it's just not that they're sitting next to one another. So you kind of have to think about it. My fingers are just like turning colors at this point. So, ooh, look at that. Delicious. I left too big of a gap there, so. I'm gonna go back and fill that in with this deep forest green, if I can. Yeah, I can. Hmm. Oh man, that is so beautiful. Like I'm not usually into greens, but that swatched really nicely. We're into some purples now. Beautiful. I have hope for you, palette. 
black. Holy smokes. Ooh, that's nice. All right, and I have to do it, but I'm going to put this one up here because I've run out of elbow. So I apologize, but it swatched really nicely. So that's the color story there. You know, the only pa palette that I have not been excited about just because of the swatches was the NYX Ultimate Queen palette that I just purchased, which won Allure Best of Beauty for 2022. It just swatched terribly and then it performed terribly. And I'm watching like these swatches happen in real time and they're just, they're, they're tremendous. They're staining my fingers. So you know that they're gonna be super pigmented, maybe even running the risk of them staining your eyes, but they're so creamy and buttery and they're just really, really good quality. You can tell on a swatch. And, and even though that's not a, an entire indication of how they're gonna perform, it still feels like, look, after doing a thousand swatches, when it's a really good swatch, it usually translates to really good formula. So anyway, I'm really excited to test out this formula for the uh, first time. This is another new release. It was a holiday kit. This was from Danessa Myricks. This was the um, Infinite Chrome Holiday Kit. I always wanted to try the Chrome Flakes, and so when she released this holiday kit, I thought, well, now is my chance. So it comes with the Chrome Flakes and the Mini Twin Flames, which again, I believe is like a liquid eyeshadow. Here is the Twin Flames. So it's a multi-chrome liquid pigment. It's just a purple with like a green shift, I guess. All right, let's swatch it. Very deep purple. So let's see the shift. There's a green shift. Purple, green, purple, green. So it's really pretty, very pigmented. This was in like the shade VIP. These infinite chrome flakes, this is in the shade Disco, and here is the packaging on this. This, I think, was the most exciting to me, but it's the most intimidating because I don't exactly know what this is gonna look like. I'm assuming it's kind of like a jelly much shadow, but that's what the inside of it looks like. Very beautiful. So, whoa. Look how light reflecting that is. It's very chunky though. Very, very chunky. You can like see kind of how chunky it is on my finger. That looks very beautiful. I'm definitely excited to try it. I'm gonna touch this Twin Flames one. Yeah, it's drying like really quickly. Quite nice. This one's gonna take longer to dry. I can already tell you it's very, very sticky. Okay, so the next group is all by REM Beauty. I haven't tried anything from REM and there are five products here. So the first one here was the Sweetener Concealer and it is in the shade Light 2N. So these boxes are all very boring. They all look like this. So I don't think I really need to show you the boxes. And it comes in this glass jar with a teeny tiny little spatula, plastic spatula. And this is what the product looks like. And I thought I did like light neutral. So it definitely feels like a potted formula. I have similar ones that I think do very similar things. For example, I think the Too Faced like Sweet Peach one feels very similar. I think I have one from RMS Beauty that feels very similar to this potted formula. So I like both of those, I really, really do. I think that they're nice and hydrating and they offer a good amount of coverage. And one of the things that I love is to spot conceal with those concealers. So I imagine this one's gonna perform in a very similar way. Next was the Eclipse Audition. I think this was the lip and cheek tint. Yes, it is. So I think these are really, really cute packaging. And I think this had pretty good ratings and I have seen people talk about it. It is a pretty orange color. So let's swatch it next to the concealer. Hmm. Yeah, pretty pigmented, pretty emollient, has a good base to it. I liked the way that it felt. It felt very creamy. So. The only real test here is gonna be whether or not it has good lasting power and whether it starts getting patchy when you blend it. I mean, part of that we can kind of test right here. No, that looks really, really good. Really easy to blend. This is the On Your Collar Liquid Lipstick and this was in the shade Leave a Message. It has like a flat side to it so it won't roll off the table. It's the weird like flat, 
like doe foot applicator. Let's just swatch it down here. A nice fall color. I believe it dries down matte, but I don't know. And I think I've heard good things about this as well. And I'm pretty sure that it had pretty good ratings when I looked it up. So I'm definitely interested to try that because I love me a good long lasting yet like doesn't break down liquid lipstick matte formula. The next one is the Practically Permanent Lip Stain Marker. Now I think I got this because it was like gimmicky and it, it drew me in for sure. So they're pretty vibrant colors. This one's in the shade Popular and it's a, a pretty bright pink. But here is the marker and it looks just like a marker. That's it right there. So let's just test it out. Like it's like drawing on myself. Like I'm not even sure I'm gonna be able to take myself seriously when I'm putting this on. Like this feels like it wouldn't be safe to put on my lips, but apparently it is. It smells like a marker. Zero gravity, long wearing color that stays in place when where, whatever your lips are up to. Okay. Next product is the On Your Collar Plumping Lip Gloss. Here is the packaging here. And it's like a squeezy tube, actually, because I have opened this. My favorite squeezy tube ever. It's like, it's pretty hard. Anyway, that's what it looks like there. It's very, very sticky. And I don't know what the plumping formula feels like, but I can smell that it's peppermint. So I imagine it's like the cooling plumping. Okay, last set of products here. ColourPop had a bunch of new releases recently. Um, collections actually and I placed an order for one of the collections not the full collection I just picked some of the items out of it and it was the troublemaker collection so the first two products that I picked up were two of the jelly much shadows I've tried jelly much shadows once before and I wasn't like the biggest fan of them because I don't think I really knew at the time how to use them the way that like I do now so I wanted to give them another shot this is Dramazine. I think is what the shade name is. So here is like the shade, it's it's silver. So here is like some that I picked up. Let's just put it here. So it's like a silver, like or like a champagne almost. The next one is in the shade So What? And it's like a violet. I will swatch this one over here. This one I like a little bit more. Yeah, there's just less sparkles in this one. This one has like a lot of sparkles and this one is just more shiny, if that makes any sense. Like there's less sparkles in it and it picks up like the reflection of light just a little bit better. And this is the outer carton for the Troublemaker palette. Here is the color story. Love this duochrome. I think I have a very similar shade in a different color pop palette. So it almost feels like a little bit of a repeat, but that's okay. A lot of ColourPop shades are because they have only, you know, 3,095 palettes that they've released. I'm pretty sure that was a Super Shock formula. Gray. I am like have sparkles everywhere. <laughs> it almost feels like a little bit of a topper. Yeah, where it's just really, really light. Bright, bright, like galactic silver with like blue undertones. That duochrome. Yep. Very grungy palette overall. This is like a charcoal gray shimmer. And there are um, seven shimmers to five mattes. Or a black shimmer. It definitely looks purple on my finger in a deep gray. So there is that very grungy color story. Very fun. This palette felt like good quality from sticking my fingers into it. Nothing felt like hard pressed or hard panned. I think we have at least one Super Shock formula, which is this one, potentially this one, but it was so like lightly pigmented because it felt like a topper shade that it was hard to tell if it was Super Shock, but everything else feels like just kind of like the regular shimmer formula. So that is the color story on that one. 
And that is it. That is all of my products for today. I know that it was quite a bit. Thanks for hanging in there. I hope you enjoyed. I love doing these swatches. I think live swatches and haul videos and just kind of unboxing this stuff is a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun for me. I find it interesting to watch. So I hope you enjoyed today and I will definitely catch you in my next video. Bye guys. Thank you.